Are you someone who struggles at the gym? Do you get tired too easily? Well, we've got the supplement for you. Introducing beta alanine supplements. Let's see how it works. <laughs> Man, I can't even do one pull up. How are you doing that? Well, have you heard of beta alanine? No, what's that? Oh, it's this really cool supplement that helps with muscle endurance. Tell me more. All right. Glycolysis is a necessary biological process in which glucose is converted to ATP, the main energy molecule for the cell. It is a two-phase biochemical process. In the first phase, D-glucose is converted to D-glucose 6-phosphate through hexokinase when glucose is in low quantities and glucokinase when glucose is in high quantities. As well, one ATP is converted to one ADP. In step two, D-glucose 6-phosphate is converted to D-fructose 6-phosphate through phosphoglucokinase. In step three, the D-fructose 6-phosphate is converted to fructose 1,6-bisphosphate through phosphofructoisomerase. As well, another ATP is converted to an ADP. In step four, two products are produced. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is converted to both dihydroxyacetone phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate through fructose bisphosphate aldolase. Now in step five, the dihydroxyacetone phosphate is converted to the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate through triose phosphate isoteromase. In stage two, we have two glyceraldehyde 3-phosphates proceeding through the steps, as in step five, we had dihydroxyacetone phosphate converted to glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. In step six, we have glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate converted to 1,3-bisphosphate glycerate through glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. As well in this step, we have 2-NAD plus converted to 2-NADH plus two free hydrogen ions. In step seven, we have 13 bisphosphate glycerate converted to 3-phosphoglycerate through phosphoglycerate kinase. Also in this step, we have 2-ADP phosphorylated to 2-ATP, giving us net zero so far. In step eight, we have 3-phosphoglycerate converted to 2-phosphoglycerate through phosphoglycerate mutase. In step nine, we have 2-phosphoglycerate converted to phosphoenolpyruvate through enolase, uh, and two water molecules are lost in this process. Finally, in step 10, we have phosphoenolpyruvate converted to pyruvate through pyruvate kinase. In this step, we also have 2-ADP converted to 2-ATP, giving us our net 2-ATP for the entire process. If in anaerobic conditions, the 2-pyruvate from glycolysis undergo lactic acid fermentation in your muscles. This produces two lactates and two NAD+. The recycling of NAD+, through lactic acid fermentation, increases the hydrogen ion concentrations in your muscles. As levels of exercise increase, the primary source of energy in your muscles is anaerobic glycolysis. Muscle pH decreases as the intracellular buffering system is unfazed by this increase in hydrogen ions. So due to excessive exercise, your muscles are becoming exhausted. But increasing beta alanine increases the buffering capability of the cell because it increases the concentration of the physiochemical buffer carnosine. This decreases muscle pH. It delays the acidosis and our muscles tire less quickly. Taking beta alanine supplements increase endurance and you will be able to perform longer and harder. Try some of my beta alanine, it might help you. Okay. Well, you're right, that really did help. Thank you so much. Of course, glad I could help. Before beta alanine, I could barely run 30 seconds without dying. After beta alanine, I can run for five whole miles. I love this product. Beta alanine has really changed my life. Well, I'm convinced. Call now to get your supplement, 
of beta alanine at 1-800-ALANINE.